the back boys make a lot of noise. Tommy, we ain't got far to go. There's a great big heavenly rainbow on the horizon. What you think of these? The beats into this cold and muddy ground. When we roll into town Cause it's been weird It's been strange Libraries have really changed, and information has changed. There are more books published today than at any point in history. And libraries are in a position to connect their communities with those books. The books are not just physical, they're also digital. Um, we've developed software platforms that allow us to obtain those digital objects, those books, and connect our communities with them. At the same time, we're still collecting uh, significant numbers of print books all throughout the year. So this ecosystem of the book has changed and gotten bigger. There are more ideas, there are more things happening in the world. Uh, that we can know about and that can make our experience better and more valuable. There is so much information available online, but libraries really put a human experience to that information so that people can connect with other people in their community, discuss ideas, um, engage with their friends and neighbors uh, in a public space, and libraries have really grown their role in that way rather than being a storehouse for information they're a place where you know new ideas are created and developed in a community way i do i utilize both branches of our local libraries actually um in gunnison sometimes when i'm in that area i'll swing by and see what selections they have and then also up in crested butte um, i am a huge data geek so I love reading I love learning I try to read one book a week 
and um, I have a lot of suggestions from friends and other folks and I usually just try to order them online so I'll just go online order something I'm interested in and then as they come in it's really easy for me to bop over from the office and just pick up a copy so since I've started working for the Gunnison County Libraries I've definitely ran into a some space issues that's probably the biggest thing for me secondarily would be the budget constraints that we have to hosting programs. I think we, in both of those instances, we do as best that we can with our current situation, but we could be doing so much more with an independent funding source and a new library facility. For the evening programs that I'm hosting right now, and really any program, we're not able to host them in the current library space in the Gunnison and Crest Butte Library until the library is actually closed, which is 7 p.m. on most days. So I feel like if we were to have a facility with a dedicated programming space, we'd be able to serve the community so much better because we would have more flexibility with hosting programs at different times. But we had um, the Polynesian dance kids from Western come and do a program last winter and the kids you know we had so many people packed in and it was so tight that the actual performers were banging their like arms into the stacks and like hitting their elbows and I'm sure a couple of them went home with bruises because we had so many people in there that the performers did not have room to perform. <laughs> well I know that when we restored the old rock library, which is over 20, 25 years ago now, um, Gunnison, uh, the main building, was desirous of a, a complete remodel then, or to build a new building eventually. Um, my, uh, They were very um, cramped for space, I, I remember, and they needed to um, either expand or, or build new. Oh, I think we've used the space that was more than plenty when it was built. Over and above capacity, there have been additions to it even. And I think, yes, the population is much different now than what it was in numbers. We need a ballot issue for our library because the Zugelder Library in Gunnison was built in the 1970s. And although it was a, a very nice and well-constructed library, we've had to add on to it at least once. and. We really are bursting at the seams right now. Our library is not really serving the community as well as it could be. And modern libraries are information centers, they're social centers, they serve a wide variety of contributions and value to the community. And right now, our present library simply is woefully inadequate for that. We don't have decent office space. There's no dedicated space for children there's no dedicated space for programming. Uh, there are no smaller spaces for learning, for study, for tutoring, for GED testing, for English language instruction. Many of the services we provide, we simply don't have adequate space to provide them. And so in 2007, a uh, local rancher, Ray Van Tile, donated 5.32 acres of land and $1 million to the public library. Ray had taught himself how to read in the Gunnison Public Library and wanted to return that gift uh, to future generations. Um, that gift of both property and money uh, really has made it possible for Gunnison County Libraries to imagine a new space, a space that has instruction spaces, a space that has a young adult library, a space that has a children's library that has uh, an appropriate space for programs, for story times, for events, a library that has quiet spaces for adults, a uh, library that can connect to the outside um, and have outdoor spaces, a library where programs and events can take place, 
uh, at different times throughout the day where adults can gain new skills, learn new things, connect with uh, other people in their community. Uh, these are pretty common things for most libraries uh, in this day and age. We just don't have them in Gunnison. And so, you know, over the last year, uh, there's been a community effort to envision what a new public library space can be um, and to design a new library building. Uh, the Gunnison County Commissioners have been incredibly supportive of this effort. They have seen the vision of what it can do for a community and also, um, you know, how it can come to fruition. And they have agreed to support the library district by funding uh, most, if not all, of the construction costs of that new library. On the corner of Court Street and County Road number 15 is where the 5.32 acres are located that were donated for the construction of a new library facility running parallel to the walking path and next to the community school a number of public and private meetings have been taking place to plan the best use they can put together for a larger and newer Gunnison Library facility for now and the future. You know it, it provides a lot of really cool access points um, it's on the bus route, for the, the uh, Gunnison Crested Butte um, RTA bus. It is on the bus route right there, so we could potentially even put a bus stop right there at the corner. Drew and the library district partnered with an architectural firm to do site assessments and to do, um, you know, building proposals and went through the process of talking to the community and trying to figure out what the future of library services in Gunnison looks like. And um, hopefully throughout the summer we'll continue to have those public input meetings and we'll be able to ask people, um, you know, what the library means to them, how they use it, what they want to see out of the library. There would be shared parking between the mountain trail and the library and additional parking parallel with Court Street. Four concepts have been drawn up for public feedback. Concept 1 of the Valley Look. Concept 2 of the Fan Look. Concept 3 of the Wings Look. And concept four of the shift look. To get the 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 people in that the folks in Gunnison really want to see, you know, whether that's authors, we just had Ann Hillerman come through, um, whether that's local historians like Dwayne Vandenbush or Dave Primus, the kids programs where we've got a magician performing and we've got 250 kids packed in there. You know, nobody really wants that in the middle of their library. I hope they intend to continue to support the public library, whether it's in Gunnison, Crested Butte, or Almont. I think it's a strong thing to do. I think libraries are essential for civilization. And, um, and, and just as I think education is essential for civilization. And I think property taxes increase the more civilization increases. So that if you want a high level of community, you want a high level of civilization locally, support your public library, support your public schools. I just love libraries.